right, this is going to be the last part of the tutorial. Hope y'all have learned something or else this was all for naught. I really don't care. Uh, just trying to spread some information that I've gained over the years. Uh, for mastering out the track, getting all the volume levels back to where you want them to be, I'm only going to do it for a section of the track because I didn't record the whole thing. So I'm going to double click on that and then click on multi-track back in. And you're going to slide this little yellow slider thing all the way over to the right past the hook. And you're going to file, export, audio mix down. I'm going to save it as runaway tutorial mix. And always try and save your files in 320 kilobytes. Go into options and down here it'll be 320k BPS, 44100, 881 stereo that's the highest quality you can possibly get and it's not going to ruin any integrity within the file itself so that's going to be the cleanest sound you can get uh, I go in there save that override because I already screwed around with this a minute ago and then it'll open up this window here and this is going to show you the final mix how it sounds before you master it and that's just the basic there then to master it out I go to amplitude and compression down to hard limiting not that one old school one and the settings in here it's a custom setting you limit the max amplitude to negative 0.5 boost input by 6 look ahead time 7 release time is 54 and make sure you have the link left and right button pushed out for you then you said okay on that and you'll see the shit skyrockets up there you don't want that so go to amplitude and compression hit amplify and the settings for that is negative 1.3 on both left and right gain make sure you got the link button click there and you're gonna just keep dragging it down until it hits around that negative three decibel level that's where I like to put it at usually it takes like two amplifies and bam there you go now everything is equalized it's all good shit Alright guys, so that concludes my tutorial. Just make sure once you're done mastering it out there, you go back and you save that file. That way you'll have the, the mastered one saved. You can do save as, and that way you can save the rough mix and the mastered mix. It's whatever. But that will conclude my tutorial for the day. Uh, look back future dates, I might add some more complex shit up. You never know. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and learned a little something. My name is EV. Uh, I'll leave my site link and Facebook link and shit down in the info. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and I'll answer them to the best of my knowledge. All right? Doses.